Good morning. Welcome to Subjective. I am thrilled and honoured to be talking to the wonderful Susie Bick this morning. Good morning, Susie. Morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good. <laughs> so here we are. It's the first time I met you. Yes. <gasps> From yes. my side. So this was a story for ID Magazine. I was working for a lovely stylist called Paul Frecker. Yes. And we were thinking about who to get, and he was very excited. He said, oh, we might be able to get Susie Bick. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And he was like, yeah, but yeah, we're not sure. Anyway, we did manage to ask you to do a shoot, and you did do it. And I remember I'm quite normally, I'm quite directive with the model. So I said to Mark, can you do this? And I sort of direct the model. And Paul took me one side and said, don't do that with Susie. She doesn't want direction. <laughs> Just put her on stage, let her go. And you did. Oh my God. I didn't say I didn't say anything really? to you hardly. I used to be so camera shy, so I'd never have been able to do that right. until quite probably yeah. that was probably one of the first times I felt yeah. confident in front of the camera to do that. But I was also very camera shy, but on the other side of the camera. Really? So I was ah. yeah, I was young and I didn't know how to speak to people and I didn't know what I was supposed to say and what I was supposed to do. So for me this was a dream because right. I didn't have to direct you. I would literally right. you came in you were very, very quiet, and then you took a step in front of the camera, and then you went into this incredible performance, and I was going, <laughs> click, click, <laughs> click. And it was amazing, and I remember it's one of the, it was certainly the first time it happened to me, and it's not that many times throughout my career. Really? Where literally the model takes over, does their <clears throat> performance, and then walks back off again. I love, I love seeing that photo, because I feel like, you know, working with you is such a hugely important part of my career. This picture, which was shot for Yoji Yamamoto and um, art director Mark Ascoli. Yeah. Can you tell me from your side? <laughs> <laughs> Although um, I know some things already, but... Well, for me, it was like a huge honour to be able to do that. That was the biggest job I'd ever done in my life. And really? I, yeah. She's got all the Christian Dior's and all the shadows. I felt like that was right. the biggest, I think, ever. I remember, I don't know if this is true, but mm. I think it was a reshoot. I think you'd it already was. shot it. Yeah, yeah. I was doing a men's campaign and I was doing a women's campaign. Yeah. And we shot the women's campaign on a, a model, but it just, I don't know, Mark Ascoli didn't feel it in the right. end, or Yoji didn't feel it. Right. But yes, it was a reshoot, so yeah. it had to be done. And I remember that photo was at about three in the morning. Yeah, it was late. And I remember, I mean, it's kind of mysterious. I don't know. I tried, from my perception of that moment, was that we tried a lot of different things. Yeah. And I think I was trying a bit too hard because I was really worried that I wasn't going to do a good job. And I think in the end, I sort of relaxed and I was having a cigarette. Yeah. I was sort of like, yeah, yeah. like exhausted. And then something happened and you just went, oh, hold still a minute. I was having a cigarette break. And I remember having to hold still for a really long time, <laughs> like 14 seconds or something. Because yes. it was the big plate camera. Yeah, it's, the, it's over there. It's yeah. Right. I've still got it. And, and, you know, and then only the smoke was moving, nothing mm. else was moving. And I remember this sort of magical moment. I could feel like some energy yeah. coming from you or me and the whole thing, and I don't know. And so it just became this extraordinary photograph. And, and all the photographs within that shoot were incredible. When you're taking photographs, most of the time it feels like you're trying to run through treacle. And it's really hard and nothing's really working and, uh, and you keep on going and you get these moments where it, all of a sudden it feels like you've gone to a different yeah. level, a different plane and taking a photograph is easy. I felt like it was like a sort of reduction of anything excess and it was just left with what it was mm. and the real, it felt really, I always felt like you were doing that and I, I don't know if you're consciously doing that or you do that naturally but it was, it was very much like I could feel this sort of yeah. energy going, I could feel something, this magic. And I had a weird moment during that, for a yeah. split second. I had this vision of, you know, that Heroes album cover of David Bowie where he's sitting kind of yeah. like this. All oh, right, okay. It suddenly like, as I was in that position, yeah. I suddenly felt like somehow like, I don't know, I just suddenly had that flash of that and I thought, I'm in a similar pose to that Bowie <laughs> But yeah, I felt like you were orchestrating that, and I feel like that was like some magic. 